And moving now to the other side of the country, CBP releasing hundreds of migrants onto the street in San Diego this weekend after a welcome center had to shut down from a lack of funds. The moves come as CBP reports a surge in migrant crossings in the San Diego sector. News Nation correspondent Jorge Ventura joining us live from San Diego with more on this. Jorge. Natasha, here in San Diego since Friday, Border Patrol agents have street released over 1,300 migrants into the community. And this development follows the closure of Migrant Center South Bay Community Services that was forced to close its doors after the, after the county ran out of funds meant to address the migrant surge. Now, earlier this morning, News Nation did witness the street release of hundreds of migrants into the community, predominantly single adults, and among them, migrants from diverse corners of the globe, including Africa, Asia, and South America, all expressing a common goal of seeking better opportunities in the U.S. and citing challenges in their home countries as a reason for their migration. We've been through a lot of challenges in the neighboring country in Mexico, but thankfully we're here safe and sound thanks to God. Please help us because the majority of people who come here are scared, worried. Some don't have money to spend or to take a plane. On the scene, migrants actively seeking information to locate the nearest airport, searching for cell phone chargers to communicate with family members, and seeking directions for their next destination. Supervisor Jim Desmond, present at the scene, is urging the federal government to address the escalating situation. If we enforce our laws that require people to go through the embassy or apply online, we would be able to vet them in their own countries. We, we're not able to do that here, and I think that's a very scary sight here or circumstances for here in America. The influx of migrants in San Diego has prompted a group known as Border Vets to take action. They are reinforcing the border by installing razor wire and sealing gaps on the east side of the San Diego border wall. Now, local officials telling News Nation that they expect these migrant street releases to continue every day until the county could approve more funding. But officials say now the federal government must come in and provide those resources for the county of San Diego. Natasha. We'll see what happens. Jorge Ventura live for us in San Diego tonight. With that, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.